Hashtag knowledge. Hello to the knowledge family. Uh, today you already know that uh, y'all seen what the title says. And uh, it's going to be some real mad pissed off people out here today when I get through reading a whole lot of people around here. I'm telling y'all. Now, now let me tell y'all. First of all, um, as you see the title, Inappropriate Relationships with Minors, Young Children. And can also we got to start standing in solidarity? You know, we have to start standing in solidarity to stop this here matter because it's getting way out of control here lately. And I know a lot of y'all have been seeing different uh, news people talk about it or different platforms talk about it and things like that. But uh, we really have to put this to a stop. Because we have too much uh, going on out here. We got too much trafficking our kids. And we got too much people messing with minors and messing with young teens and all this. Uh-uh. This needs to come to a stop. And people, brothers and sisters, y'all, we all need to stand together and start nipping this right down. Just squashing it. Just squashing it. Because it's, it's beginning to get very, very bad very very bad you know now there's a lot of people out here that have a very bad evil intention for our children out here and millions of women and men you know have a sick horrific mental illness of being attracted to children okay and underage children you know minors young teenagers and all that so we're gonna need the parents grandparents, uncles, aunts, sisters, brothers, cousins, and even if you don't even have family or you by yourself, you just a person who is you the only one left out here or whatever. But we need for all of everybody to stay woke and pay attention to this disturbing, disturbing behavior that's coming from a lot of these, you know, uh, petties out here, real, real, real pedophiles out here. You know what I'm saying? And we have to be sure that we start watching, looking, paying close attention to what's going on with our kids out here. And with our nieces and our nephews and our cousins. We have to stay woke, y'all. You say, I mean, it's just too many people wearing blindfolds, shades, and they not looking at what's going on around them. Going on with their children. And this is something that we have to pay close attention to in order for this type of disturbing behavior coming from adult men and some adult women, some adult men and some adult women out here in these streets, all over the United States, all over the world, really. But we finna chop, stop all this right now, right, right now, because there are some men out here that you know they only are interested in certain women because he's attracted to the children, to the underage kids, you know, and they have an evil obsession to be with those kids and vice versa. It's some women out here that they be with certain men only because they are attracted to their children. You know, and they have that evil obsession with that man's child. So you got to pay close attention because this work with men and women is out here hard and bad. And we got to pay close, close, close attention. There are some men and some women out here who will play like they the most righteous per person in the world. They'll play like they the most holier than thou person in the world. and But at the same time, they are the most evil devil. They have that evil devil intention for your church. Really do. Really do. So you have to pay close attention to it. Because there's some people out here that's like that. You know, and they would talk a strong game to pull the attraction of adults. And they would talk a strong good game to get adults' attention. You know, but at the same time, they will talk that same strong game to try to pull your church. Yes, they will, they will talk that same strong game 
that devious gain to attract your church. That's the type of devious person that you're dealing with out here. And it's millions of them out here, y'all. It's millions of them out here. And you cannot detect them right offhand. Because they're very charming and very sweet. And they act like they care and all that. And it's a lot of people. And it's sad because most real good people do act like that. But you have some of these evil ones that will overdo the shit. They will overdo the shit. You know, and you got to pay real close attention to those kinds, you know. And there are millions of men and women out here who sit back every day and think and plot and imagine being alone with a minor child. And there are millions of women and men out here who are just frustrated. You got so many people out here. It's, it's some of these sick in the head mind, grown men and women who do sit back and they plot, they think, they imagine about being alone with minors. And it's sad and it's sickening, but we have to stop it. It's happening too often, too often, too often, you know, and it's so many of us out here who are mad and frustrated with this matter, you know, um, we, we, we straight, we, we frustrated that every time you turn around, it's somebody that we hear that is messing with young children or messing with young teenage, underage people. You know, we talking about grown people messing with underage children, uh, trying to traffic underage children, trying to give dope and all this here uh, liquor and drinks and all that stuff trying to get kids intoxicated and all that so they could take advantage of kids uh-uh uh-uh y'all it's time to put these people on blast it's time to put them on blast because we have starting to stop this I mean we've been stopping it for a long time but we are very very adamant about stopping this behavior and and calling them out Putting them on blast. You see what the title say. Put them on blast. We starting to put them on blast. If we hear it or we know it or we see it or you've been convicted of it and you've been charged of it or whatever, you are going to be put on blast. That's just point blank period, you know. And they out here trying to befriend our children and groom our children, you know. And they also be befriending the parent, you know. And they really targeting single parents you know and they trying to act like they your friend act like they want to date you and you know they they very charming and, and this goes for is women out here doing this to men to get to next to their children and is men out here doing that to women to get next to their children and you just have to be careful of the company you keep and who you let around your children you know, it's not always a stranger doing this. Sometimes it's the boyfriend or the girlfriend or whoever right there. Next to your child, family member, or whatever, right there. That have some evil intentions for your child. You know, and then you got some, some people out here, these old, you know, people who are attracted to children. They dropping the bag on females, you know. Oh yeah, they dropping the bag and they and they letting the female feel like they real important, you know. And then the female, you know, she loved the lavish life that this man is offering her and all this stuff right here. And then you tend to forget about keeping that strong solidarity with your child. And making sure that, okay, is this person sincerely a good person? Who's dropping the bag on me? Or is this a pedophile who is dropping the bag on me and hiding behind the bag that he's dropping to a woman to get to the child? So you have to be able to be a good parent who stand in solidarity with their child to make sure that you can detect all this and you can know what's going on because that's what most of them do. 
whether it's female or male, you know, and they doing all this and dropping that bag on you and doing that and having you all this meat coats and you dressing nice and they taking you all to these lavish restaurants and all that. Some of them are doing that. The pedophile people are doing all that so that they can have close access to your church. But if you're not standing in solidarity with your child, then something might happen. Because you're looking at the bag and looking at the money. And men, you're looking at the good looks and looking at the booty and all that. And you're not looking at what they are slickly undercover trying to do to get close and get access to your child. You got to pay close attention around here now because we are fed up, frustrated about all of this here that we hearing around these uh, streets and around the news and all over different people platforms talking about every time you hear about it, this kid has been taken advantage of, this this man has been booked for messing with kids and this woman been been uh, detained for messing with a kid and all this, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, it's time to put our foot on their neck, put our foot on their back, put them in a chokehold about our damn kids around here. Uh-uh, uh-uh, we ain't gonna have it and we finna stop this right now. And some of these type of twisted and sick-minded people, could they could be in people's families, they could be a friend, they could be an acquaintance, they could be a co-worker, they could be a babysitter. They can be a coach. They can be a stranger. They can be a preacher. They can be the musician at the church. You know, they can be a girlfriend. They can be a boyfriend. They can be a neighbor. You know, they can be a teacher. They can be all this and more. But you have to keep your eyes open because they come in different type of shades. Different, different, different type of shades, you know. And... People have to be very aware and be very careful of the company that you keep around your children because we hear stories every day, all day, every week, all year long about men or women who are inappropriately putting their hands or their private parts on underage kids. And we're starting to put those people on hard blast and we're pushing hard for them to get that hard time too because... These, some of these people are getting out on bond with a $5,000 bond, $10,000 bond, uh, $100,000 bond, and getting out the same day or the next day as if our children's safety don't even matter. You know? And we have to stand in solidarity to make sure that this don't happen. We have to be all over. We have to be all up in the courthouse. We have to be called in the courthouse. We have to be called in the judge. We need to be trying to see when their court date is. Putting them all on the internet. Blasting their ass. I'm going to tell you. It can be stopped. It can, if it don't stop, it can slow down. You know, and all this incest stuff where you got family members messing with other family members and having kids by other family members and all that. Uh-uh. These sick in the head type ass people. And it's time to start standing in solidarity and putting their ass on blast. And making sure that they do hard time. And don't go walking back out here on these streets when it's something like that. Especially when a kid is telling the parent or whoever that this is happening to them. You know? And there's a lot of people that try to discredit the kid. Oh, I'll get to that in a minute. You know what I'm saying? But, have you ever... Have y'all noticed some people who have platforms, who have TV shows, uh, some artists, some entertainers, you know, some actors, or, or whoever. Have y'all noticed that it's a lot of these people that seem to stay very quiet when it comes to a subject about a man who was caught, convicted, charged for messing inappropriately having inappropriate behavior with a child or a minor or a young teen have y'all noticed how quiet a lot of people be when you come to talking about oh that person uh just got charged for 
messing with a young child. Or that, that person done got charged, you know, and it be some hardcore evidence. We talking about hardcore evidence. And have y'all noticed how quiet a lot of people get when it comes to talking about a trafficking story of a minor? Talking about inappropriate behavior with a minor. Oh, it be a whole lot of quiet people around here, you know. And you got to look because a lot of people have been talking about just how quiet a lot of people are who have platforms or who artists or, or whatever, you know. Oh, they, they sit back down. They don't, don't want to say nothing. And then get mad when somebody else get on their platform and expose their ass. They get mad then, you know. But have y'all noticed how eerily quiet a lot of these people with platforms are? Some of these famous people and etc. You know, oh yeah, they real quiet. See, we all sitting back watching and observing how quiet a lot of people are about these type of subjects. Now, if you think about it, anything else, oh, they running their mouth. Oh, anything else, they all over the, the Instagram, or all over the Facebook, or all over the YouTube, and all over uh, everywhere. They all over everywhere. When the boyfriend done broke up with him or, you know, oh, you know, this couple getting back together. How come he ain't with this couple? Or that star or whatever they self always on their platform talking about some bullshit. Oh, don't nobody like me. Or, oh, you know, somebody did this to me. Or keep your mouth shut. Don't be talking about me. Always got some bullshit going. And they love to be on the internet to... Quickly talk about somebody or jump in somebody's ass or oh yeah, yeah, they quick they, they quick to talk about everybody else. Everybody else. But then when a subject come up about kids by somebody inappropriately touching a kid or trafficking kids, oh it's a hell of a lot of quiet people then. Oh, they ain't got nothing to say. Act like they don't even see the story, hear the story, know the story, none of that. They act like they just bypass that. See, you got to pay close attention. See, it's a lot of us, because that's what we're talking about out here in the streets. It's a lot all over the United States. It's a lot of people who are sitting back watching just how quick people with platforms and people with high-quality platforms and stars and artists or whatever you are. Hey, it's a lot of people sitting back watching like, you know what? They sure do have a whole hell of a lot of mouth for some stupid shit. But then when it comes to something that matters, what, sex, when it comes to kids being touched inappropriately or trafficked or something like that, they don't touch on them subjects. Oh no, they you gotta watch what you're dealing with. They don't they don't they don't want to touch on them subjects. See, see, hey, look here. I'm not beating around the bush. There's a lot of people that don't want to say this. There's a lot of people that don't want to say it, scared to say it, or whatever. But I'm go I'm putting it out there. Check out how eerily quiet a lot of people are. And some of these people are who a lot of people support. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you got to pay very close attention and watch who you support, you know, because there's a lot of people out here that support everybody. Oh, they supporting it, and they do this, and they do that, and they buy the music, and they buy this, and they buy that, and you know, and they, and they go to little games, or they do this, do that. They supporting the very same people who will be quiet about children being taken advantage of or inappropriately touched. And it could be a huge story all over the internet, all over the news. It could be a top trending story. And watch how some of these people stay quiet. Uh-huh. So then you have to wonder, why are you so quiet? Why are they so quiet? Why are they so quiet? You know what I'm saying? And then you have some people that get mad and try to protect the very person who is inappropriately messing with underage minors. Or trafficking underage minors. Or hanging with underage minors. 
you will have some people who will try to protect those very sick minded mentally ill people oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah you have to watch it you know you have some protect well you know um uh, I don't think they did it. Uh, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, um, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say nothing about it. I, because most of the time, it's most likely one of their friends, or either this is some shit they do too, so they can't really touch on it. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You better watch how eerily quiet a lot of people are, because I, I know that there are a lot of people on YouTube, men and women that don't play this, and they have YouTube platforms and they will bust and put them on blast, because this ain't what they like, and then you will have some people that will act like they don't even see, no, hear the story, it could be any type of story that's very big, and you got some people that that's all they report on, missing kids, or you know something that happened to a kid or whatever. But then you have some men and women that have platforms just like I'm doing right now. Who will put folks on blast for inappropriately messing with minors and young teens. Yeah. But then you have some that act like turn their head and then turn the other way. And sometimes they do it because... That's their friend or they hang with them or whatever it is. And then sometimes they turn a blind eye because what? Uh, mm, uh, yeah, maybe they got some little skeletons going on in their closet too. That's it, almost exactly like what the friend is doing who they're staying eerily quiet about and don't want nobody to say nothing about them and they, and they don't want to say nothing. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, so you have to stay woke, people. You have to stay woke, you know, because I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care who it is, a friend or a cousin or a family member or whatever. If you are messing with kids and you are convicted and you you do go up there and you have to bond out and out and the evidence is so heavy and the evidence and you're looking at this person and the evidence is so heavy, ain't no goddamn way in the hell that... I, first of all, is going to mess with you, and I damn sure ain't going to get on nowhere trying to act like or downplay the situation just because that's my friend or family member. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You sure better hope that uh, the police catch you before we catch you. That's how we do around my crew and clique. You know what I'm saying? You sure better hope the police get you before we do. You know? But then you have some that will openly try to protect someone no matter how hard the evidence is against their friend or their family member or whatever. And it has you thinking, uh, okay, uh, you know, how are you very quiet about the situation? Uh, okay, are you doing the same thing? You see? Because most people are outraged when they hear anybody messing with a child inappropriately. Inappropriately. Most people are outraged. And then you have some people who are not outraged. And they stay quiet and act like they don't even hear the story. You know? So you have to pay close attention about that and you have to watch who you support. And stop dropping money on that person all the time. Or you trying to support them because, hey, I like that. I like that person. I like this store. I like this famous person. I like this. Hey, pay close attention. And you knowing they heard that story. You knowing. But they ain't saying nothing. Notice how they'll talk about every goddamn thing else. But won't say shit when it come up to a story about a child. Being inappropriately messed with. Uh-uh. You know? So, uh, like I say, you have to stay woke. Because these are children, these children invaders, they most likely, most of them, always trying to befriend a single parent. 
and they always offering their babysitter services and they always participating in uh, community activities that involve children and they always trying to be around uh, a, a sports a sports event or something like that and they they always volunteering to uh you know I go shop around overnight on a trip with the kids and all this shit right here. Uh uh oh hell no. Nah. They always hanging out hanging out at arcade places and they they hang out around the parks and they hang out around sports fields and game platforms and I see you gotta watch all these type of things. You got to watch all these type of things because they hang out and all these type of things. And then they come from underground with all that traffic and shit trying to snatch your kid. You know? And most men and women who have an obsession with children are experts at getting children, the parent, and family members to trust their ass. Oh, yeah. They are experts at getting people to trust them. You know, so you have to understand that we putting all these think ass type people on blast because we tired of it and we exposing them. We not having it. We not doing it. We demanding that the court system, the judge, and everybody else give these type of people hard, serious time. Hard, serious time. Messing with these children out here in these streets all across the United States. It's almost like, you know, it's, it, it's almost like it's a trend. Or something. It's some. It's a lot of sickness going on out here in these streets, and parents, and grandparents, and everybody. You got anybody in your family? Kids in your family? Y'all have to be on top of this. Be on top of your p's and q's, because everybody that come and try to befriend you, and try to drop bags on you, and try to want to be around you, or act like they the most charming and sweet of uh, woman in the world. Now everybody ain't good people. Everybody ain't good people. So you got to keep your eyes open on that. For real, for real. You really do. Because people are outraged. People are pissed. People are tired of hearing the same old thing about our children. Re re really are. You know? And then you got some people that if you expose their friends or whatever, oh, the first thing most of them will say is it's a fake story. You know? And then you have some people who have been accused of this type of terrible and mentally ill behavior of messing with kids, you have some people that will get on their platforms and then they they know they've been accused of it, but then they'll get on their platform and then talk about, oh, I ain't got to touch no kids. Oh, you know how many women I got? You, you know how many cars I got? Oh, you know how many? I, ain't, I, I, I don't need no kid. I don't need it. I'm talking about they never get on their platform and say like, hey, this ain't me. Y'all know this ain't me. And I will be proven innocent. And that's all I could say about that. And I just hate that any type of person would accuse me of this, especially a child. Because I love kids. This ain't me or whatever. No! Uh-uh. There's a lot of them don't even get up there and say that. They jump right on their platform. Damn the child who done accused them of it. They start talking about what they got, how they got, how many women or how many men or how many whatever. They trying to discredit the child in a slick ass way. And then I had a nerve to say, and you know, I can't talk about this situation because my lawyer said, you know, I can't touch on the situation. Well, keep your goddamn ass off your platform then. Don't say shit at all because you're making yourself look worse. Don't say shit at all then if you ain't able to say nothing. Because, listen, everybody know if your lawyer say keep your goddamn mouth closed, keep your goddamn mouth closed. You don't still get on there and then try to touch on the subject, but you're touching on the subject to where you still trying to convince people how goddamn righteous you are and that this child here may be lying or ain't shit and all that. Uh-uh. You're making yourself look worse. Just stay the hell up off of any goddamn thing. You know? But that's them arrogant ass people that mess with kids. See, when they mess with kids, then they become arrogant as if 
ain't nobody going to touch me because I got this much money. Or even if they poor people, ain't nobody going to touch me because they going to spend a whole lot of their time discredit discrediting that kid, that child. Yeah. Yeah, then they turn. The kid is no longer a victim. They want people to turn on the kid for their trifling ass. Oh, yeah, y'all got to stay woke around here. Now, you got to listen. You got to listen and, and, and just stay woke because you got some arrogant ass pedophiles. Yeah, you got to stay woke. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, these pedigrees. You got, to, you got to stay woke for them. Now, I'm trying to tell you now because they ass will try to get you every time. They around here stinking up the joint. Stinking up the joint. You know, and they will try to convince people that, ah, uh, nah, you know, yeah, nah, nah, you know, ah, uh, ah, uh, nah, nah. And the whole time they knowing the evidence is just hard as hell on them that they gifted. But they'll still try to find some way to degrade and talk bad and discredit the minor. Yeah, uh-huh. So now, y'all have to understand that. This is a deep, deep ritual against our children and our kids. And it's meant to destroy our kids and our families. You know, um, it's a very well organized um, operation going on with these type of people who are messing with our children out here. They had the people, these type of people right here who's sick in the mind and messing with minors and young teenagers and all that. They, it, it, it's, a, it's not just them. It is a whole big organization out here that's doing, it's a ritual. And it's an organization that they all, they spread it all across the United States and the world. And this is what they do. And they are very well hoping that they can do this to minors and do this to young teens and destroy that child and that family. That's what's going on here. You know, and they doing it in hopes that the child will become mentally disturbed and mentally destroyed. You know, so that that child can reenact what happened to them. See, that's what they hoping. And they hoping that the child or the minor that they mess with will reenact the same type of behavior to the next generation. And then they go to the next generation. And then they repeat it and it repeat this disturbing behavior. And they're hoping that they can keep doing this until this become normalized. But hell no, we're not normalized. I'm trying to tell y'all what this ritual shit is all about when it comes to them messing with our kids and trafficking the kids and everything else. This is some type of ritual that has been going on against our kids and parents. Y'all better wake up. Grandparents, y'all better wake up. Uncles, everybody. Cousins, friends, family, y'all better wake up. Because if you notice, you've been hearing a lot, everybody been hearing a lot about trafficking and a lot about somebody messing inappropriately with a mind. And this is what they are hoping happens, that they can keep continuing, they can take over and keep this going and destroy the minds of these kids and these minors and these young teens out here so that It'll keep repeating itself, but repeat itself until it becomes normalized. Y'all better hear me. You better hear me good because that's what's going on. Y'all might be like, huh? What? Uh-huh, huh? What? Rewind it and hear me again because that is exactly what is going on out here in these streets all through the United States and the world. I'm trying to tell you, so stay woke, you know, and think about some of these dedicated friends of some of these uh, accused pedophiles and stuff like that. Think about the people that are very close to these people and stay close to them and they silent about. Think about the friends of some of these petties that people hang around. You know? And then think about the people 
who are not saying anything, who has big platforms, who are stars or famous or whatever, or, or what, even if it's somebody around your area, around your block, or around, just think about it if you bring up that conversation and how quiet they are or how much they don't want to talk about it and all that. Think about the friends who are connected to the people who have been accused and who have been convicted. And who have been sent up the big house. Think about the friends to those people. Because you know what? If you think about it. You got some people out here trying to give people passes for stuff like that. And you got to watch those type of people. Who love to give passes to pedophiles. Oh you know what? That's how come you ain't supposed to. You know what? Amen. Y'all better stop dating these single women. Huh? Stop dating these single women with kids because, see, they're, this is the type of trap you'll come up with. Huh? No, it ain't the type of trap you come up with. I'm going to tell you right now. There are a 1% of kids that tells on a person just because they lying. We talking about kids. Little kids. It is one by uh, it's about one or two percent out of a damn million that just uh, wake up and just tell a constant lie on somebody, and then it's not proven that they are lying. So, you know, people try to give passes instead of talking about the situation. You know, uh, uh, you know, nah, you know, uh, he, he real, he or she real big in the church, she wouldn't do that. Or he or she real big in the community, they wouldn't do that. Or he or she love to give passes. Love to give passes and discredit the child. Love to give passes. So, we got to wake up and see what the hell is going on around here. Because if you think about it, y'all. All these people who hang around these type people are they 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 type of friends and then when they friends get in some big ass trouble or something about some type of trafficking or messing with a minor or something like that, watch how quiet they be. And think about it because check this out. I'll give y'all an example. Because if you hang around a whole bunch of football players all the time, eventually you're going to want to pick up a football and play. If you hang around a whole bunch of gangsters all the time, and that's all you hang with, eventually you're most likely going to become a gangster. If you hang around bank robbers all the time, eventually you're going to start robbing banks too, or stealing. If you hang around a surfer all the time who love to surf on the ocean and they love to surf and you hanging around a whole bunch of surfers all the time, eventually you're going to step on one of their surfboards and just try it a little bit. You know? Just think about if you hang with a lot of people that roller skate and they always going to the skating ring and they always, you just hanging around them constantly and I, eventually you're going to put on some skates and try to skate. So, sometimes you have to wonder why a lot of people are not saying anything. Who are friends of these people? And if they are not friends of these people, why are they so eerily quiet? Is it going on? Is a little of some of that going on with them too? The reason why they can't touch on that subject? They can touch on everything else. But they can't touch on that subject. Oh, they can talk about race. They can talk about police brutality. They can talk about all this. But when it comes to talking about inappropriate behavior with children, they too eerily quiet. So watch who you support. Oh, yeah. And watch what I'm saying. Go on your internet right now. And look at how many times some people famous people, stars, or just regular people, always got some mouth to say by some other type stupid shit. But then when it comes to something serious like this, and yes, police brutality is serious and all that, but they do speak up for all that. But when it comes down to trafficking 
and goddamn touching a child inappropriately, they ass is quiet as hell. So watch who you spend your damn money with. Watch who you support. Watch who you st watch who you keep support. And it's right dead in front of a lot of our eyes, and a lot of people got on blindfolded and turning the other way. Turn the other way because they don't even want to see it. Check it out. Check it out. You know, and you got some people, like I said, that pouring lemon juice on an already messed up situation and protecting the abuser. You got a lot of people out here still protecting the abuser. And they know that that person is an abuser. But they will still come up with something. Oh, well, I don't know what she did. I don't know. But you know the teenage daughters, you know, are they looking like they 30 years old now. So, you know, sometimes a man going to try to test them. No, I ain't. Not, not when they know that they 13 and 14 years old. And you already know a child. A child, you ain't supposed to be trying to be attracted and touching on no child. But I'm just trying to say the passes that people give out. The passes that people, you got to watch them people that give out passes for situations like this. Because we don't give out no passes around here for no shit like that. And I know a whole lot of people across this United States that don't give out passes for no shit like that. We say point blank period. We better not know your ass. And if it's some hardcore evidence, we don't even want to hear a goddamn thing you say. But if you've been accused and then we watch and we sit back and see how see how this stuff, how much evidence they got on you and and if they booking you for we gonna sit back and look, you know, and see what the hell is going on. And we also gonna speak on it. But we ain't going to turn our head and act like the shit ain't happening. So, like I said, y'all check out and watch how eerily quiet a lot of people are when it comes to this subject right here. They don't want to touch it. They use their goddamn big-ass platform for every goddamn thing else. Oh, you let, oh, police brutality, ah, oh, that, that, that. But when it comes to trafficking and it comes to touching a child inappropriately, guess what? You can hear a pin drop. Check them out. And we putting their ass on blast too. Because as soon as they go to talking about something else, say, hey, you sure got a lot of mouth about this goddamn bullshit right here. How come you ain't saying nothing about when that man was messing with that little girl and that little girl had to go to the hospital or that little boy had to go to the hospital or you know all this stuff right here. How come you ain't saying nothing about that? Uh-huh. Yeah. And then you got these old cocky ass abusers. Who be on their platform and talking like, uh, yeah, like it's a scapegoat type of ass shit. Watch the company y'all keep, you know, because you got a lot of these porch monkeys around here messing with our kids. And you got a lot of porch monkeys who are protecting and staying eerily quiet about trafficking and about touching kids inappropriately. Check it out. Check it out. But it's time for us. We finna put their ass on blast and we finna tell the world about it. We gonna plaster them all over the internet. We gonna talk about them real hard. All of that. All of that. Because we finna make this stuff right here stop. Because we, we have no more tolerance for people messing with our children. That's all I have to say about that. Gain knowledge to prevent blockage. And we all know what that means. The more you know the harder it is for anybody to block y'all from y'all goals and success. Bye-bye.